Hello and welcome to a vinyl haul edition of True Audio Files. Before I get into my vinyl haul for the week, uh, I wanted to put a reminder out there about my True Audio Files Facebook group. Uh, we're gaining some a little more momentum every week and I love it and love the interaction we get when we're uh, on there and I uh, hope uh, I can see you guys there and enjoy the uh, the group and, and contribute. It would be awesome. Also, for newbies uh, to my channel, these are some of the releases I got this week. Uh, these are all actually stuff that came out last week. But because I have been on a business trip since last Friday, I, uh, or in other words, a little over a week, I did not get them until I got home uh, from my business trip last night. So still trying to recuperate. Went to Las Vegas for a trade show. Uh, for work, and I uh, think it was very successful. I had a great time. I went to see Cirque du Soleil uh, Love, you know, the Beatles uh, Cirque du Soleil show for probably like the sixth time. Saw some new stuff during the show. It was amazing. I took some great pictures. Maybe I'll share them on my Facebook group so you guys can see them. Uh, and uh, overall, just a great time. And basically, my goal for the for that week, uh, or I should say, I had a one day where I had at least a few hours to myself, and my plan was to go to a couple of different record stores and then go to the Kiss Mini Golf, uh, which I usually go to every time I go because it's fun. Uh, this time around, because of the so much success I had at Wax Tracks Records over there in Las Vegas, right off, not too far off the strip, that uh, I basically just went to that one store and went back to my hotel room because I spent a lot more money than I was anticipating. But uh, I got some great stuff. Uh, didn't get a ton of stuff, although one of the things was well, there's a lot of stuff in it. So And it was a partial grail of mine, so I'm very excited to show you. Uh, so this one was definitely more about quality and not quantity. And I definitely could have spent a lot more money there. I, I didn't even, I think I spent almost two hours there and I didn't even touch a lot of the stuff that I would like to go get. But uh, Wax Tracks Records, again, on uh, in Las Vegas, they actually have a whole section, not only of just regular um, open Mobile Fidelity uh, old releases, re, uh, but they also had a, an entire section of sealed ones. And some of them which I really wanted, but I just had to pass because I just was spending too much money already. So, uh, just an amazing place, and uh, I hope I can get back to Las Vegas soon and check them out again. So let's start off with the first three records that I got that are uh, some great jazz titles. They weren't in necessarily the best condition, but one of them was actually in very good condition. But all are either first pressings or early pressings. So first one is Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers uh, at the Jazz Corner of the World. And, uh, you know, this one has Lee Morgan, Hank Mobley on it, and obviously Art Blakey. Um, looking very much forward to this. I don't own this already, and this, I believe, could be a first pressing. Uh, I was having a hard time finding this specific one on Discogs because it didn't. I didn't couldn't find any that had this stereo uh, sticker on it. So, Van Gelder uh, cut. So that's always a good thing, right? Uh, next one up, another Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers, this time with... Lee Morgan and, well, Lee Morgan was on the other one, but Wayne Shorter on saxophone, which is awesome. Uh, the Freedom Rider, again, this is an early pressing. I'm not 100% sure it's a first, but it's certainly an early pressing, so such an awesome way to uh, find these things. It was awesome finding. They had a bunch of early pressings of anything, not just necessarily Blue Note, So, but it just happens to be that all the ones that I got, not only were they all Blue Note, but they all had Lee Morgan in them. This one being an actual Lee Morgan release. Uh, Delightfully Morgan. This one has Joe Henderson on sax, McCoy Tyner on piano, uh, Billy Higgins on drums. So, again, another Van Gelder cut, which is awesome. Uh, very excited about all those. But the one that I am most excited about was one that I have been looking for for quite a long time, and I have never seen one out in the wild. I've only seen pictures of people posting about the, about it. So this time I finally got to acquire it. And that is the Beast of the Frank Sinatra Mole Fidelity Sound Labs box set. So 
Uh, almost all of these records are in absolutely perfect condition like they've never been played. There are one or two that have a couple of what appear to be minor scuffs on them, but uh, just incredible. I got number, I can't really hold it up again because it's so heavy and awkward, but I got number 5241. Uh, something very interesting that I didn't know before I got this one is how they're packaged. Every single one of these box sets are packaged differently in some way, shape, or form. The box, the design box, uh, internally the, de the design on the box is the same, but um, the outer part of it is designed a little bit differently in all of them. This one was kind of an interesting way of packaging the actual record. So you had the sleeve, outer sleeve, if you will, that said Frank Sinatra, but then you actually had sort of kind of like the, you know how they have the uh, white inner sleeve on, on the, the Mobile Fidelis, or they have the kind of the advertising wrap around the, the record. So that's kind of what this is, but it's actually the album cover um, with, you know, the record underneath. So I thought that was a pretty interesting way to package them. Uh, the Stones and the Beatles both had books uh, to show you the, uh, the the cover art instead. So I think I'm thinking those ones were newer, but maybe you guys could let me know because I don't remember the I don't know the order of which these ones all came out. But either way, I am very excited. I'm I'm not going to take my time on the screen to put that back in because it's a challenge trying to talk and put that back in the set at the same time. But it also had a little uh, flyer inside of it that to uh, talk about the box a little bit. So you had that and then talks about the process and then the albums on that side. So and then the, obviously the Geo Disc, which all of them come with. So but 16 records in all. Uh, very excited to dig in and listen to that. It's a very exciting box set. I can't wait to check it out. That basically is everything I had for this week. I didn't have a whole lot. Uh, I wish I could talk more about other things, but uh, it's been a very busy, actually two weeks uh, at work. Uh, so trying to ramp some stuff up. So just wanted to uh, give this a, a shout out to uh, Wax Tracks Records because they were an amazing store. The guy, uh, the owner is amazing. And, uh, you know, Tiny, tiny store, but just packed full of amazing product. Uh, so, and some amazing knowledge also. So, that is everything I've got for today. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button if you like the video. Uh, make some comments into the in the comments section below if you'd like. Uh, if you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you want to know when my new videos come out, hit that alert button. And check me out on social media. I told you about my Facebook group, but I'm also on Twitter. And on Instagram, if you want to check me out there, I do spend more time on that Facebook channel, though, the, that I created, the group, I should say, True Audio Files, spelled just like uh, this is spelled on in, in this uh, you know, video group that I've got here created. So that's everything I got. Thanks a lot. You have a great one.